everyone, Christina here, and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a nursery sign using your own tech laser and solar flowers. So let's get started. Here I am loading up my 532 walnut. Have my magnets to hold it down. We always want to make sure that our focal height is correct when putting in new material. Jumping on over to the computer, we want to click frame. Check out the laser, it's looking good. Now we can send the job to our laser. Says file send successful, awesome. Now we're gonna pull up the file on the laser. As we can see, it's right here. A good rule of thumb is to always make sure that you're gonna be checking and framing it while it's on the laser, just in case it doesn't ever match up to light burn. It's just a safety precaution. All right, that's looking good, so now we can cut. Now we're gonna be putting in our new material, which is our mirror gold. And this one is 3M backed, so we are gonna wanna make sure that the 3M sticky side is actually facing upwards. We're gonna load it up with some magnets. Then we're gonna jump on over to our computer, and we are gonna wanna make sure that this design is mirrored. We're gonna frame it. Make sure it's in the right location that we want it. And another thing I did want to mention is because I am working in one file with the same settings, is we do want to make sure that we're going into our libraries and selecting the correct acrylic settings for our material, which is what I'm doing here. Now another way you can get around this is you can set another layer with a different color and use that as your acrylic setting. Now, I have tried that, and for some reason, sometimes things reset, so that's not something I like doing. I like doing it this way. Then we're going to want to resend this to our laser. As we can see, file is sent successfully. Awesome. And we're going to load the design up on our laser. Now once we're on the laser, we do want to frame it again just to make sure that it's in the right location, which it is, awesome. Then we can click start. Now for the fun part. If you have little dots in your eyes, you're probably going to need to fish it out from the bottom of the machine. Now we're gonna clean up the soot on the edges with some rubbing alcohol and just a paper towel. You can also use a cloth. You don't wanna use a colored cloth if you're working on any kind of light material because sometimes it can bleed into the wood. Now stain is optional. If you do wanna use stain, we suggest using either a half mask respirator with non-vented goggles. You can tell if it's non-vented by making sure there's no holes or slits on the side. Your other option is using a full face respirator. And as you can see here, this is where the cartridges would go. You wanna make sure you have the correct cartridges for whatever respirator you choose to use. You also want to make sure that you have the correct night trial gloves on and that you don't get any types of stain on you. 
You also want to make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area and that you allow enough time when making your project for it to off-gas for at least 30 days. Now for the mirror design, what I'm gently doing is peeling up the masking on the mirror side, not the adhesive side just yet. Now there are some scraper tools you can purchase. When you're working with such a delicate font like this one, I don't suggest it just because you can break it, but this tool works great when working with larger designs. So as you can see, here's the adhesive back, which we wanna hold off on just a moment. Now I'm gonna lay out the design. The next section goes over Sola flowers and how I dye them and paint them. For the dyes, you will need some bowls of plain water. You can use acrylic paints or you can use Sola flower dyes. Some companies sell them. In this video, I will be using both acrylic paints and these dyes. and you're gonna put a little bit in the water and then mix it up with a popsicle stick or any kind of mixer that you have. Now with the white that I'm starting with, because it is such a light color to begin with, you will wanna use a lot of dye in the water. Then all you do is you just rotate the flower in the water. Now another option you can use when painting Sola flowers is if you have any type of particular acrylic paint that you like, you can gently dip a paintbrush in water and start brushing the edge of the flower. And using the water, the water will trickle the paint down into the crevices. But it is time consuming and sometimes you might need to go in in a couple layers to get the colors as bright and dark as you want it. And once we have all our flowers dyed, we want to let them dry. Now all these took about two days in full to dry, so I suggest you need to accommodate at least two to three days to be safe. Now at this point, I don't want to really adhere anything permanently just yet. I'm gonna work on a layout that I like and I'm gonna photograph a few different layouts so I can actually send them to the client. Now once we get the okay to go and move forward, then we can start permanently adhering everything to the sign. Now I'm gonna be pulling off the adhesive back to the font, or to the words I guess you could say. Very gently, we want to position it where we want it on the sign because if we push it down too tightly, it will adhere. And when we do find the correct location, we can actually press down to adhere it. Now, I'm sure you'll be wondering, why didn't you put anything on the back to hang it with? When it comes to signs, especially nursery signs, due to lawsuits, a lot of people highly advise against putting any kind of backing on, so I advise to just leave it as it is. Now we can start positioning our flowers back where we would like them to be. As you can see here, this one has a damaged petal. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just slightly snip it off and curve it so it hides underneath the other petal. Now let's get our hot glue gun and we can start gluing all of the flowers down. I do tend to like to start with the leaves and put the leaves in place first so we can build the flowers around the leaves. And 
there we go. We have our sign put together. And that is how you make a nursery sign using Sola flowers and your laser cutter.